Hello and welcome to Camp Brood and our review of Grand Ole RV Resort in Goodlettsville, Tennessee. We uh, just stayed here for a night, so the pictures that I have aren't as detailed as I would like, but still wanted to share with you our experience. Grand Ole RV Resort was a one night stop for us, again, on the way home from Florida. We pulled in late in the afternoon and left early the next morning, so this post is more about the structure of the campground and the experience. The resort is located right off I-65, just north of Nashville. We can see this as a great home base for hanging out in Nashville. It was very convenient and is good for big rigs down to trailers of any size. Based on the gravel, we don't think it they accommodate tent campers. Grand Ole RV Resort is located on North Main Street, which runs parallel to I-65, and it can be quite busy. The speed limit on North Main is, on, is also only 35 miles per hour. Thankfully, the distance between I-65 exits 97 and 98 is less than 2 miles. The road is also called Dickerson Pike. The entrance to the campground is on the west side of the road. It's a small decline and quickly turns into gravel, which is the surface for the whole campground and sites. The check-in process was easy and the office staff were friendly. We were directed to our pull-through site number two. The pull-through was easy to get into and out of and was on the lawn of the campground office. Our door opened up to the lawn and we were able to listen to live music while we ate dinner. Some of the sites are decently spaced. Sites 76 to 102 are pretty close together. There are very few trees to shade, so shade is limited. The advantage is that there is less to fall on roofs and fewer trees to navigate when parking your RV and entering and exiting the campground. There are train tracks on the southwest side of the campground behind sites 60 to 75. We watched a train go by while we were walking dogs later in the evening. Speaking of dogs, a great dog friendly place. The dogs enjoyed the campground as much as we did. There's enough grass and space to not worry about dogs doing what dogs need to do and upsetting other campers. The large long nets to North Main Street was a little wet during our night. Still, it was walkable with shoes. I think it is low end for drainage of the rest of the campground. It is a nice big area, but there was no way we were playing soccer or throwing a football on that grass due to how wet it was. And again, it may have just been seasonality or they may have had a storm previously. There's live music many nights. We were able to listen to music while we ate dinner. We listened to covers of popular country songs. It was memorable. Other guests brought their chairs onto the lawn or sat at the few picnic tables scattered about. Most of the adults had their drink of choice. Kids played on the toddler playscape and others were on the swings. For us, it was a pleasant night. Grand Ole RV Resort offers full hookup sites with 20, 30, and 50 amp electrical connections. The connections were where they needed to be. This setup was a little different with freshwater connection underground under a plastic cap. It is still very easy to hook up, just a little different. Our time at Grand Ole RV Resort was brief. Although we only spent the night, we will be back if we are ever in need to stop overnight or if we choose to spend extended time in Nashville. We enjoyed the campground for its convenience, set up for our Class A diesel to easily get in and out in the friendly atmosphere. The roads in the park were flat, without potholes and worry-free. Thank you for your time in reading our experience. We hope if you are looking to stay in the Nashville area that this will help you with your planning.